Gotcha games are some of the most popular, most lucrative types of video games around the entire world. But did you know that in 2023 alone, over 110 gotcha games shut down and over 30 are announced to be shutting down already in 2024? Disregarding 2024, we're gonna go over every single gotcha that announced a shutdown and that successfully shut down in 2023. So buckle up because we have a lot of games to talk about. Before we do though, I wanna remind you to make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit that little bell notification. This way you'll remain up to date with everything that I post and trust me, I post a lot. Drama, new game releases, pre-registrations, keeping you all up to date so you don't miss out on a great opportunity. January had six gacha games announce their closure. The Idol Master Side M in Japan, which lasted a grand total of 8.5 years. Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier, which lasted 1.2 years. Metal Slug Attack lasted 6.9 years. 47 Heroines, which lasted 3.9 years. Sword Art Online Unleashed Blading, which lasted 3.2 years. And Color Peace Out, which lasted 3.8 years. February also had six gotcha games shut down. Metrosphere Global, which lasted 1.8 years. Fantasy Life Online, which lasted 1.3 years. Lord of Dice lasted 5.5 years. Bravely Default Brilliant Lights lasted 1.1 years. Kirara Fantasia lasted 5.7 years. Igdra Resonance lasted 0.9 years. Oh my God, that is horrible. March had nine gacha games shut down. Metal Revolution, which lasted 1.6 years. Venus Blade, which lasted 11.5 years. Gundam Area Wars, which also lasted 11.5 years. The Idol Master Cinderella Girls, which lasted 11.3 years. Honeyworks Premium Live, which lasted 2.4 years. Kingdom of Heroes Tactics War, which lasted 2.6 years. Love Live School Idol Festival, which lasted 9.9 years. The Alchemist Code, which lasted 5.3 years. Warwa Ars Notoria, which lasted two years. Before we get into the remainder of the month though, I wanna take a moment here to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon, who allow for me to continue to do dedicated videos like this every single day. You guys are phenomenal. And I can't thank you all enough for the support. Now let's keep looking at these games that shut down. April had eight gacha games that announced closures. Arena Battle Champions after 1.5 years. Fate Grail League after one day. Yeah, I'm reading that correctly. One day. Released the 1st of April. Shut down the 2nd of April. Precon Grandmasters lasted nine days. Launched February 1st. Shut down, or sorry, April 1st. <laughs> Shut down April 10th. Yeah. Two games shut down with less than two weeks. Wow. Okay. Dragon Quest, The Adventure of Die, A Hero's Bonds, which lasted 1.6 years. Code Geass, Genesec Recode, which lasted 1.5 years. Sakura Ignoramus, which lasted surprisingly two months. Danmachi Cross Historia, which lasted 7.4 years. Princess Connect Redive, which lasted 2.2 years. May had 17 gacha games announce closures. Revived Witch was the first casualty after 1.5 years. Lost Archives survived 3.6 years. Seven Nights survived 7.2 years. Exos Heroes survived 3.5 years. Diskia RPG survived 2.1 years. ReZero Kata Hajimeto Isekai Sekaitsu Lost in Memories lasted 2.3 years. Echoes of Mana lasted one year. Tap Tap Fish. Abystrium Pole is apparently a game, lasted 3.3 years. Tales of Asteria lasted 9.1 years. Himegami Kagura lasted 2.9 years. Girl Cafe Gun lasted 1.7 years, this was a global version. The Knights of Avalon lasted 10.6 years. Burst Witch lasted 1.6 years. Zero Arms lasted 1.5 years. Kono Warui Koneko Chanme lasted one year. Sin Chronicle lasted 1.1 years. And Sky Galleon of the Blue Sky lasted 3.8 years. June had 13 casualties, beginning with Gundam Breaker Mobile, which lasted 3.9 years. Clover Theater, which lasted eight months. 
Trinity 7, Mugen Toshokan to Dai 7 no Taiyo, which lasted 4.3 years, Lemuria of Phosphorescent, Hoshizora no Kizuna lasted one year, Quantum Maki lasted one year, Velvet Code shut down after 1.3 years, Eternal Tree shut down after one year, Lapis Chronicle Hero Crown shut down after 1.5 years. Vanguard Zero shut down after 3.5 years. Love Live School Idol Festival All Stars shut down after 3.8 years. Mabaro Shiju Kayaku Crypt Tract shut down after 8.5 years. Mitra Sphere in Japan shut down after 5.9 years. And Code Regalia shut down after 5.3 years. July had 12 gacha games announced their shutdown. Knights Chronicle after 5.1 years. Joshin Chan Dropkick Dai Fugo Desuno after 2.6 years. Shaman King Fudenari Chronicle. Cro <laughs> <laughs> Shaman King Funbari Chronicle after 1.6 years. Evangelion Battlefields after 3.2 years, Osawari Yusha-sama after just 7 months, Waku Waku, F <laughs> Waku, Waku Fantasy, Harokana Sekai no Monogatari after 4.7 years, Compass Live Arena after a year, Revived Witch in China after 1.6 years, Sanrio Characters Miracle Match after 1.1 years, The Idol Master Side and Growing Stars after 1.8 years, The Rising of the Shield Hero Rerise after 2.5 years, and World 2 World after 5 months. August had 11 gacha games announced their closure, Zeta Prophecy after, after 1 month, 28, 29 days, wow. Goddess of Genesis S, Megami Historia, after three years. The Irregular Magic High School Reloaded Memory, after 1.1 year. Eternal Tree, after 1.2 years. Token Rambu Online, after 2.3 years. The Legend of Heroes, Akatsuki no Kizuki Mobile, after four years. And Innocence, after 1.3 years. I actually covered that game, I did not like it. Grand Quest Tales Afar, after five months. Aoi Ai no Chikai Blue Oath after 3.3 years, Fruits Fukote, Sose no Taiju to Kaijutsu no Otome after 4 years. That is way too many Japanese words to have to try and sound out. World Witches United Front after 2.8 years, September had 7 gacha games announced their shutdown, Yu Gi Oh! Cross Duel after 1 year, Tails Weaver Second Run after 8 months, Destiny Child, which was very sad to hear after 5.8 years. Mega Man X Dive after 3.5 years, Seven Mortal Sins Ecstasy after 2.2 years, Sword Art Online Variant Showdown after 8 months, Yokai Sengokushi Kokutori Wars after 5.7 years, October Saw 4 got to games shut down, Your Majesty after 1 year, Labyrinth Brave after 1.2 years, I Am Magikami after 4.4 years, and Fairy Sphere Japan after 1.9 years. November saw 7 gacha games announce their end of service. Beginning with Sin Alice after 3.3 years, this is global. Unhappy Raccoon after 1.1 year. Cross Summoner R after 1.2 years. Fairy Sphere China after 2 years. Star Healer after 1.5 years. GGGGG after 6 months. Valiant Force 2 after 5 months. That wasn't surprising. I also did a video on that, and that was that was even that was unquestionably bad. And finally, December had 10 gacha games announce their closure. Beginning with Honey X Blade after 5.1 years, The Red Price of Eden after 3.5 years, Time in Inasagi Battle Arena, which is very depressing. I've, I'm not saying I watched the Time in Inasagi anime when I was younger and older, but I, I definitely don't know what they are, but they sound good after 5.2 years. <laughs> Crash Fever after 7.1 years, Girl Cafe Gun China after 4.2 years, Eroica after 1.1 year, Uda no Prince Sama Shining Live after 5.3 years, High School DXD Social Game, yes that is its name, after 10.2 years, Hero Kantare after 3.5 years, and finally, Crossgate Genuine Authorization after 2.7 years. That is every single gacha game that shut down over the course of 2023, over 100 titles. And you know what, in 2024, there's probably gonna be upwards of 100 more to replace them with. So, yeah, <laughs> who the fuck cares?